and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, I am once again taking a look at one of your designs that you have linked me in the comments section of one of my videos. And if you should see something of yours that's shown on this channel, just drop me the Steam Workshop link somewhere and I'll eventually get around to it. But for today, we're looking at something very big and very impressive, and the creator has very kindly made this into a world just because I don't have the Deluxe Edition. That is with enthusiasm, which is this lovely thing right here. This is a fairly large ship that's designed to carry quite a lot of people through space and through battle. It's got rocket turrets, it's got Gatling guns, it's got plenty of seating inside for your crew members to go and have a little rest, and we've got some glorious purple colouring going all the way around and through this ship. Pressing F10 and finding it in the spawn menu, the enthusiasm is 1,585 large blocks using the Frostbite DLC pack, decorative block number two, Economy Deluxe, and Sparks of the Future. Let's just go and give that a little thumbs up right there. So what we're going to do is have a quick look around the outside, then we're going to go for a little tour of the interior, and that will be that. So coming around over to here and putting my light on, because it's quite dark in space currently, I'm not too sure why. The sun is directly on this, but anyway, at the very front here, this is what we get. So we've got an air vent front and center to suck in any kind of oxygen when we're on the planet to refuel our tanks. We then got two cameras right there, which is part of a script, which is going to detect enemies coming towards you. And as we move down here, we've got some lovely neon skinned blocks. And we can see the start of a few golden skin blocks, which are acting like little curtains around our bridge. Anyway, as we move further down here, we then got some rocket launchers on our left and our right. Then we can see all the way down here, a little walkway to help us get in and out when we're on the surface of a planet. And we can see all the hydrogen thrusters there to help keep us off the ground. If we come up to here and start to move around the side, this is what we get. We're going to see some lovely blinking purple lights going all the way along the edge of the ship, which does look bloody fantastic. And we're going to see a bunch of LCD screens with a little spanner and hammer on them. As we continue along, we're going to see more and more Gatling turrets to make sure we're nice and protected on our sides. And right over here, we've got a doorway to go in and out, which has all been censored up so we can just walk up to the door and it will automatically open for us. And we can see uh, down here just below our galling turrets, our little catwalks, which will walk all the way around towards the back, which is how we're going to get in and out on the planet. As we move over to here, we've got a helpful little ladder to get to the very top of the vehicle to do some repair work if it ever took damage. And then moving around towards the back, this is what we get. We've got two large hydrogen thrusters to push us around and a few interior turrets to make sure they're nice and protected. We've got a center block right there and another camera, which is going to be for our script setup. Then we can come down and underneath I put my light back on and we'll take a better look at our catwalks. So the catwalks themselves come from the very front over to here. They'll just come up from the ground from this ladder and move all the way across. Very, very toasty next to those thrusters. Now come across onto some more steps. That'll then come around over to here. And that's how we're going to get in and out. We'll come back to that a bit later. For the moment, we'll just look down and under it. So we can see the bottoms of our catwalks and they do have some neon tubes going all the way along in a lovely purple color. We can also see some blast or edge blocks right there, just for some additional decoration. Then moving along, more galling turrets for some additional protection underneath, a sound block and another camera. And there is the steps going all the way down eventually to the ground. And that is the very front. If we come up and above, so where I'm standing right over here, we're going to see a lone rocket turret just for some more explosive damage. Another Gatling turret, which has been surrounded by some parachutes just in case. If I turn off my light, oh well, the sunlight's shining here, but we can see some more neon tubes and a lovely purple glow. More hydrogen thrusters, another sound block. Then towards the back here, we've got ourselves a connector right next to some thrusters, another sound block. And this curious thing right here. So this is a catwalk, which has been placed on top of a passage, but the passage itself will come all the way down, 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 past some batteries, and we'll eventually get over to here, and this is where our little steps for our catwalks go. And it's kind of like a small little interior part of where we can recharge ourselves, and damn, that hydrogen engine is noisy. Let me just move away from that. 
Yes, this is like a small little interior part where we can just come and quickly charge ourselves up on our survival kit, quickly respawn, and access the cargo container right there to load or unload goods. Yes, to get into the main body of the ship, we will have to use the doors on the side. Just continue along the back there, we just see some steps, which is where our ladder is going to connect up to, and some more neon tubes. But with that all done and out of the way, I think it's time to take a quick look inside. So grabbing my character and coming all the way down over to here, we'll just quickly walk around on the bottom catwalks, like so. Back to see if we can bring the sunlight down and underneath here, that'll do nicely. And we'll just walk along, like so. Gonna get very, very toasty, our heads are quite close to those thrusters. So if this thing is moving, we might have a little scorch mark on our forehead. Yes, we can just walk along here, we get a fantastic view all the way around us. There will be a link to the skybox in the description below if you are interested. This is called the Abuse. Yes, we can walk along here, up our steps. Which will then come around over to here where we just saw, on our half steps. Where we can access our cargo container to load and unload goods. Then of course we can just move all the way around over to here. Easy access to our large thrusters to repair them. And then over to here, we've got a survival kit to recharge on. A little seat to sit on. And we have this little area over here. Yeah, just coming back around over to here. We will just quickly go up our ladders on the side. And then we'll go properly inside. So if this is our ladders, we can just jump to skip a little bit. And we can climb all the way up to the edge and start doing some maintenance work on the top of the enthusiasm. And there we go. So just walking all the way around over to here, we get a good little walkway to the top of our neon tubes. And we do have some steps that come all the way over to here. So we can access our connector right here. And we can then just do some quite dangerous jumps along the side, miss horribly, and fall forever and a day. Yes, that's how we're just going to get up to there, access to the top, access our connector in case a ship has got stuck, and we can always just very carefully move along and access the turrets all the way along the top. But now we can come all the way down to here and head on inside. So finally the doorway should be at the front. There it is. We can now walk up to it, sit down here, and they'll open automatically where we can step inside, it'll close up behind us, and then the doorway will open and allow us to come inside. And this is what we get. A bunch of little seats to sit on, a load of cryopods to store your prisoners on, or to have a little recharge. We've got some contracts, our ATMs and our vendors, a proper medical bay, our gyroscopes and gravity generator on the roof, an easy access cargo container right there. Turning around, we're going to see our reactor and hydrogen tanks. Turning around once again, we do have an LCD screen showing us our altitude and if we are low or not and if the condition is red and we need to start panicking and evacuate the ship as soon as possible. Yes, yeah, just walking around here, we've got our lovely golden gyroscope. I really should pick up that DLC pack. The golden skin does look fantastic on some of these blocks. Yes, yeah, just walking around here. This is our contracts vendor, which we can set up and get people to do some odd jobs. Over to here, it's our store to buy and sell stuff. There is our medical bay, then we can just turn around over to here, where we have our doorway to head out on the opposite side. We cannot access the back of the ship, this is all glass, but we can if we want to do a cheeky little hole boring all the way through here, and now we can access our batteries and our hydrogen engines and whatnot, but we shouldn't really be doing that. Anyway, coming over to here and towards the front, we're going to come to our bridge. The bridge has been very nicely set up, because we have these interior turrets to make sure no naughty person goes inside unauthorized and we do have some bloody great gates over here to close up to make sure we're nice and protected in case someone's trying to hijack us. Yes coming over to here we can just press the button it'll close up all nicely and we're nice and protected from any kind of pirates trying to steal our ship. Yes looking around here this is our bridge we've got an air vent up at the top there looking down we've got a programmable block which is using our cameras which is spread all about our ship to see if we've got any kind of enemies on scope and yes we've got lcd screens at the front here using some small blocks where we can see the back of them can't really read them properly from here so i'll just get into the seat yes looking around here we can see our golden blocks and some more interior turrets on the outside just for some additional protection at the front but those gold blocks are being used as what i like to think as very fancy curtains that we can draw when we're ready to take a nap Yes, looking forward to our LCD screen, we can see that we got our scan looking around on our cameras to try and detect stuff. We can see what it's detected, so we've got plants, we've got asteroids, small ships and characters. 
Not too sure why he's saying there's two characters. There should only be one on this server. And then we got our weather. We got then our condition and ship altitude, our artificial horizon, and then over there, our power and hydrogen usage. Looking around here on our little control seat, we can see our logo over there, our hydrogen and power there, artificial horizon, weather, and then our gravity. So bringing up the HUD, this is what we get. I can press 1, 2, 3, and 5 to control our command menu. Number 1 is to go back, 2 and 3 is to move up and down, and 5 is to enter. So just double checking the characters over here, I can press 5, and it has detected me. Which I'm apparently 46 meters away from the nearest camera. Very nice stuff. And of course we can go and scan a planet, see if there's any nearby, which there isn't. We can go back and so on and so forth. It's a very nice, yes, intensive script. Number four on our hotbar is to view straight forward so we can aim our guns all nicely and press number six to then fire our rocket launches straight forwards into our enemies. Coming out of there and pressing seven and eight is for our antenna and beacon. And then pressing number nine, we have a very curious timer block, which is called the emergency button. Coming over to here and finding it in the control menu. So Typing in here and finding the emergency time block and looking at the actions, it sets up our parachute hatches, our emergency distress beacon, our survival kit to toggle it on, and of course to turn on our turrets. There we go, it's if we're in a dire emergency, we can just hit that button and we should be pretty good as long as someone's coming to rescue us. On tab number two, we then got even more controls. Number one is, yet again, to fire our rocket straight forwards. Two, three, four, and five are for our cameras all the way around this ship. Six for our connector, which is at the very top there. Seven for our gravity generator. Eight for our antenna once again. And nine for our thrusters. If I come around like this and press number nine, I'll just be to turn them all off. There we go. And it suddenly gets very quiet. Thanks for that. Let's just go ahead and switch them back on for now. On tab number three, we then got some controls over our turrets where we're going to be able to change around our turrets. Number one is going to be for our idle movement on and off. And number two is going to be to target neutrals on and off. Got to be careful of those neutrals. You never know when they might turn evil on you. Anyway, tab number four, five and six is empty. So it's time to fly this thing around. So moving forwards, this is what we get. We're going to notice quite a lot of noise and our screens in front will shake around quite a lot because they are on a separate grid via a rotor to get those small blocks on here. We got quite a lot of speed for such a large ship, and that is thanks to those large hydrogen thrusters right there. Stopping as well is pretty good for this ship. It is a little slow, so you might need to do a 180 and stop in time, or just make sure there's plenty of room between you and your destination. In fact, I'll go do a 180 right now, just to speed us up. Moving left. And moving right, we got some nice speed there for a large ship. Moving down. There we go, a nice bit of speed there. And then going up, we should have some great speed. There we go. I'm pretty sure that's faster than everything else, thanks to all those thrusters underneath there. And then wiggling my mouse around, as you saw when I did a 180, we got plenty of control over this, ignoring the clang noises, because that is due to the small block grid on here. It's very, very smooth. It has a tiny bit of weight on there, but it's not very floaty. I'm not sure how this has been done, but it's exceptionally smooth to control. But with that all done and out of the way, we now just turn around here. We can see that our cameras are still scanning for everything around. I think we should just end this with a nice little crash into that asteroid right there. So charging forwards like so. Let's just turn off our dampeners. We'll just go straight into it and see what kind of damage we can deal. So all the way like that. That'll do nicely. Getting out of here, let's just go and protect my passengers by closing up that door. Why are the turrets going mad? What is going on here? Oh dear god. And oof. That was quite a lot of damage, but now we can see what this LCD screen says right here. We've got condition red. Ship at a low altitude. Enemy ships at 380 meters. Nearby asteroids at 11 meters. And ship is going at a very high speed. Not too sure what the turrets are trying to destroy. That kind of caught me off guard, but there appears to be some blocks up there. But anyway, that is it for the Enthusiasm. It's a very nice ship to play around with, and it's got some great stuff going on with it with all these scripts. And of course, I know you've linked another design called the With Vigilance, and I have recorded that, and that's all ready to go, but you won't see that for quite some time. Yes, there'll be a link to this ship in the description below if you do wish to play around for it yourself and try out all the little scripts it's using, and I'll be back with another video somewhat soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>